English 113, Grammar 1. Chapter 12, Modals, Part 1, Expressing Ability. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to use can and can't appropriately. Can't is a contraction of cannot. Use can in questions. Use know how to appropriately. Use could past of can. Use be able to appropriately. Use very and to with adjectives. Use to, the number, to, in addition, and to, a preposition appropriately. Use at and in for place. Using can. Can expresses ability and possibility. Affirmative statements. Use can plus the base form. Can swim. With all personal pronouns, I, you, we, they, he, she, or it, or with the singular or plural form of nouns. I can ride a bike. Tom is strong. He can lift the heavy box. Negative statements and contractions. Use cannot, cannot, can't, plus space form, can, not, swim, or cannot swim, or can't swim, with all personal pronouns, I, you, we, they, he, she, or it, or with the singular or plural form of nouns. I cannot ride a bike, but I can play football. I cannot ride a bike, but I can play football. I can't ride a bike, but I can play football. Yes or no questions. Begin your yes or no question with can with all personal pronouns. I, you, we, they, he, she, or it. Or with a singular or plural form of nouns. Can you speak Arabic? Yes, he can. No, I can't. Can Jim swim? Yes, he can. No, he can't. WH questions. Begin your WH question with a question word. What, where, when, who, why, how, what time. Then use the same word order as in yes or no questions. Where can I buy a hammer? At a hardware store. When can you help me? Tomorrow afternoon. Using know how to. Know how to expresses ability. It has the same meaning as can. Can equals know how to. Examples. I can swim. I know how to swim. He can't fix a flat tire. He doesn't know how to fix a flat tire. Doesn't is a contraction of does not. Can you cook? Do you know how to cook? Using could past of can. Use could to talk about ability in the past. I was in Hawaii last month. I could go to the beach every day when I was there. I could not go, or couldn't go, to the movies last night. I had to study. Could you speak English before you came here? Using be able to. Be able to express his ability. It has the same meaning as can and could. I am able to touch my toes. I can touch my toes. I will be able to go shopping tomorrow. I can go shopping tomorrow. Be able to has the same meaning as can and could. Past. I wasn't able to finish my homework last night. I couldn't finish my homework last night. Using very and to plus adjectives. This form of to is an addition. Very and to come in front of adjectives. Very and to do not have the same meaning. Very implies positive result. To implies negative result. Very equals possible. To equals impossible. The box is very heavy, but Tom can lift it. It is difficult, but possible, for Tom to lift the box. The box is too heavy. Bob can't lift it. It is impossible for Bob to lift the box. The coffee is very hot, but I can drink it. It is possible for me to drink the coffee. The coffee is too hot. I can't drink it. It is impossible for me to drink the coffee. 
using to the number, to in addition, and to the preposition. Two equals a number. I have two children. Two equals impossible or also. Timmy is too young. He can't read. Two in this example means impossible. It's impossible for Timmy to read. Anne saw the movie. I saw the movie too. Two in this example means also. I also saw the movie. Two, T-O, equals preposition or part of an infinitive. I talk to Jim. Two is followed by a noun, which is Jim. Two is a preposition in this example. I went to watch television. Two is followed by a verb. Two is a part of infinitive. More about prepositions, at and in for place. At is used with home, work, and school. Olga is at home. Ivan is at work. Yoga is at school. Home, work, and school are all nouns. At is usually used with locations in a city. At the post office, at the bank, at the library, at the bookstore, at the park, at the theater, at the restaurant, at the football stadium. Where is Ivan? He isn't here. He is at the bank. This is a location in a city. More about prepositions at and in for place. In is used with bed, class, and jail or prison. Examples. Sue is in bed. Tom is in class. Paul is in jail or prison. More about prepositions at and in for place. In is used with rooms. In the kitchen. In the classroom. In the hall. In my bedroom. Example. The children are in the classroom. In is used with cities, states, or provinces, countries, or continents. In Mexico City. In Florida. In Italy. In Asia. The example. David is in Mexico City. End of chapter 12.